Hey there everyone, Mark here from Sawfly Concepts. Now, um, before Christmas I was asked to make a boundary fence tutorial and, um, well, I'm finally getting around to it because Christmas gets in the way of life itself, apparently. It stops the universe dead in its tracks. But, um, yeah, I will show you how to quickly make a decent looking boundary fence around the airport. Um, Flight Sim X comes default with boundary fences at most of its airports anyway. You can also add them using ADE. But, um, you might want to have a different texture, you might want to change things up, and if you're making custom scenery, you're certainly going to want your own fences, right? So, yeah, what I've done here is I've just gone around the edge and made a very simple boundary fence. This airport, by the way, is completely fictional, I just made it very quickly for this tutorial, so it's not even real. <laughs> yeah, anyway, what you do to add a boundary fence around your airport is you just get the pencil tool, and you basically draw a line on the ground like that and then you draw a line up in the air three meters on the blue axis do that again three join those together three up and this is how I made this whole fence three up and join then what I did is I went to one end of the fence like this got my fence texture applied it made sure it was in the right place it was Clicked three times on the model, one, two, three, that selects everything, get the dropper tool and go like that, and that paints every other face in the model on both sides, which is very good. But yeah, we don't need this fence, so we're going to go ahead and delete that, because we've got this one around here. Now, the way to export this is you're going to want to know what your reference point for the airport is, so say if this was in Flight Sim. I'd be going from the dead center of the runway, so in ADE I'd get the center coordinates from the runway, and that would be where I place the fence. So let's just go ahead and get rid of everything else. So we hide, hide, and hide, and we'll export 3D model fence tutorial DAE. I've already saved this one, as you can see, I've already saved it because it's already in here. So what we'll do now is we'll just bring that into Model Converter Rect, which I've also already done. There it is. Turn on the shadows. Oop, that's not the shadows, that's the ground. Turn on the shadows so you can see it a bit better. But yeah, that's our boundary fence, DAE. We zoom in, we can see our texture. And yeah, that'd be going around our um, exterior of our scenery. So what do we do to place it? Well, simple really. First off, we want to tweak things, make sure everything's all good. I'm going to turn on the assume vertical normal, so both sides are illuminated the same. Also, we're going to be turning on no shadow, because we don't want it. And that's about all, really. Um, I've already got no crash set in the options, so it's going to export without any crash detection. That means when you're driving inside the bounding box, you're not going to die. Or something like that. Texture. I want to save that, it's already going to my essentials folder, so I'm going to save it as DXT. You can save it as DDS, or if you want to be really smart, you can save it as 32-bit. But I'm going to save it as DXT, because I like DXT. DXT and me are good friends. So that's the texture saved. Now what we want to do is we want to place it. If you're making this boundary fence for FSX, I would definitely suggest using the Earth Curve Corrector. So let's say this is actually the coordinates for your airport. Please type in your real ones, don't just leave it at that, otherwise it's going to place it there. And the altitude is, I don't know, let's say 3.6 meters. Click on correct. And what that does is that stretches the fence slightly and applies slight curvature to it. So it sticks to the ground in Flight Simx. Now that's already been placed, pretty much. So if we click on the object placement tool here, you can see AGL false. Altitude 3.6, complexity sparse, blah 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 blah. It's all ready to go. Don't click on anything, just click close. Now that's pretty much ready to rock. All we've got to do now is click on export scenery and export it to wherever you want it to be. See, FSX BGL file. And there you go. Uh, you can export the fence as an MDL and put it into a library object and place it manually if you like. But this is the way I work with... Um, Model Converter X, I place it through MCX, and we go from there. So, yeah, that's how you make boundary fences. Um, big thanks to FS Developer, really, for being so kind about my tutorials and suggesting things. Uh, if you want anything else, just go ahead and let me know. I will definitely get the next one out a bit faster. <laughs>
because Christmas is no longer in the way. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name is Mark, Soulfly Concepts. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all later. Fences.